is it's just rows and rows of semi-truck uh, garage doors and we're going to end up uh, dealing with you know a ton of traffic noise pollution uh, light pollution it's a fight many people in Independence are split on. Last night, we showed you the concerns some people have about a proposed warehouse being built in their backyard. Tonight, we discovered city leaders are also divided on the proposal. 41 Action supporter Gabriella Pagan talked with two members who are not on the same page. Gabriella, this topic it has both sides very passionate about this one and speaking out. They are, Kevin, and none of them are really sure what's going to happen to this land, but no matter how you slice it, this piece of land spanning hundreds of acres, it will generate revenue. It's just a matter of how and when. 18,000 people who live in this city go to work someplace else. So we are um, seeing, P and that's just independence, not to mention Blue Springs, Green Valley, Oak Grove, who are all driving through independence to get to Kansas City or Johnson County for these types of jobs. That right there is partly why Independence Mayor Eileen Ware believes in the industrial growth of the Little Blue Valley. The Land Van Trust is hoping to develop. According to city collected data, as of September, 643 Independence residents are actively seeking work while still drawing unemployment benefits. They're big employers. Um, they employ a lot of people, typically. Um, depending on the, the type of business it is, it pays a higher median wage than what is average in independence. It's a great user for our utilities, which we own. Not doing so, Ware says, continues to leave independence behind and missing opportunities for cash flow, but fellow city officials don't agree. We have a business park zoning for a reason. You don't ask your clients your out-of-town relations that you sort of want to impress, to go through a trailer park before they get to your mansion. So how does a lack of industrial development hold the city of Independence back? Uh, the missed opportunities that we are experiencing is that we are not winning these attraction opportunities. We are not bringing businesses into town, which of course means um, we're not creating jobs um, at the rate that we want to. But it's just a slump in the economy. We're like everybody else. I do not want to give away the farm. You don't take the one nice entrance to Independence and mess it up. And this is our one nice entrance. Now, DeLucci calls the Little Blue Valley the jewel of independence and says it has been 50 years in the making. It didn't officially open until 2013. Its original intended use was for business and residential. Right now, there is residential and a little bit of business. And you guys, that is where the crux of folks are split. How to use the land. And again, nothing is set in stone. Van Trust is now taking residential suggestions and hoping to give the council a revised proposal in the coming weeks. We'll be sure to follow that. Gabriella Pagan, 41 Action News.